hi guys welcome to today's video my name is favor for those who are new here and in today's topic i'm going to be giving a quick rundown of the particular topic that is dear to my heart it's dear to my heart because it's something that i've experienced countless number of times and i know it's something that a lot of people also experience from time to time and it's an interesting topic because it's titled what do i do when i do not feel like praying and that's the question that i'm here to answer or attempt to answer on your behalf <laughs> to the channel if you haven't on this on this channel i share content about my faith my life in glasgow and content to help international students who are currently in the uk or any other part of the world if that's something that interests you once again click the subscription button leave me a comment if there's any topic you'd like me to address or if there's any question you'd like me to answer and like this video if it blesses so i've listed a couple of things that i believe would strongly help you if you're struggling to pray or if you're like me and you've been at a point in time where you just wake up you don't feel like praying you don't even know if you need to continue i must state at this particular juncture that i'm a believer i believe jesus christ is my lord and my savior so the points that i'll be raising are told in that line and they are also applicable for people who are christians in that context this is the general disclaimer so the first point is when you do not feel like praying you need to culture your atmosphere as believers we must understand that we have the capacity within us to control our atmosphere we may not be able to control the things that happen to us but we can culture our atmosphere what does this mean it means to focus on what you're listening to at the moment what you're feeling the air around you with or you're feeling the environment around you with it may look like stopping those movies that are giving you unnecessary obsession over the things of this world it may look like stopping listening to some certain music that are feeding your flesh and not allowing you to focus on god it means playing sermons it means playing worship songs let me be specific playing worship songs playing mondayan movies or movies that you know that when you watch them they will certainly propel you so the second point is when you wake up any morning and you don't feel like praying one most important or one vital element people forget is songs songs are so powerful play worship songs there are some songs that also ministers that if you listen to them there's no way you're not going to bust out in prayers you're not going to bust out speaking the language of the spirit you're not going to bust out expressing worship and just thanksgiving and gratitude to god so the next point i'm going to advise is that you listen to worship songs i need to be specific about songs not just songs that will just I pew songs with powerful lyrics. There are some songs like Reckless Love. You wake up, play Reckless Love, and you're thinking of the overwhelming reckless love of God. Certainly, such songs will propel you to worship. They may not necessarily propel you to start praying and go back to that old bubbling atmosphere of oh, I'm in tune with God and the heavens are opening, but they would stir something up in your heart, and that thing in your heart is sufficient enough to lead you back into a prayer life or a prayer field. Assembly life. that's the next point. Your assembly is so powerful the bible speaks of saul it says when saul was in the company of prophets saul prophesied as well people underestimate the power of assembly imagine you're feeling so down you don't feel like praying and you go into church or you go into a fellowship or you go into a meeting or a gathering of believers and they are praying even if you don't feel like praying you would know there's something it does when you see people doing like things there's something it does to you and you also find yourself being able to do it as well so if you're if you don't feel like praying you're not feeling up to you're not feeling that spiritual atmosphere or that spiritual rush that you usually feel i strongly advise that you go to an assembly of believers bible believing church go to the church it may not necessarily be a church it could be a fellowship go to that fellowship fellowship with them and you would find yourself just like saul prophesying in the midst of prophets gratitude is the next point you see gratitude is so so important and the reason why gratitude is so important is when you wake up and you don't feel like praying it might be because you don't have any prayer points it could also be because you have prayed for certain things and you haven't seen answers and so you're wondering what is the essence of praying but here's what gratitude does gratitude takes takes your eyes off of what is not done it takes your eyes off of what is not in existence yet it takes your eyes even off of yourself and help you helps you to place focus on god so you look back over your years and this is why i strongly recommend a gratitude journal having a gratitude journal where you're able to document the things that god has done for you so anytime you're in that place where you don't feel like praying you can go back to the gratitude journal look through it and you'll be amazed at just how far god has Next brought point, you which may sound very ridiculous or it may sound like it may sound ironic to some people is keep praying 
Now, when you don't feel like praying, that is not when you stop praying. That is when you actually pray. That was why the first point was to culture your atmosphere because sometimes the reason why you don't feel like praying is you stuffed your atmosphere with a lot of wrong, negative, not, it might not even necessarily be negative, but a lot of things that are ungodly and not ungodly in the sense that they are bad, but they are not things that propel you towards God. They don't fuel your desires towards God. Rather, they are things that help you focus on your the world, they help you focus on yourself, they help you focus on selfish ambition. So at such moments, those are not moments when you give away or give up completely on praying. Those are the moments when you actually embrace prayers and you keep praying. So when you don't feel like praying, you keep praying. Even if you usually pray for 10 minutes, you pray for 30, you don't feel like praying. Pray that one minute prayer and just say, God, I don't feel like praying. Help me. That is very, very important and it's super powerful. Remember, God is not a taskmaster. God does not expect us to act like robots every time. He understands that. When the Bible speaks of Jesus. It says we don't have a high priest that is not that is not touched by our infirmities. He has gone through it, so he knows and the he next understands. point is consistency. Consistency is so so important and is linked to the previous points, which is when you don't feel like praying, even if you don't feel like praying, you still pray. Not necessarily because you have a need, but it's because it's what you live by. Your relationship prayer is a relationship and communion with god and that is something you live by if you have a spouse or if you're dating somebody or if you're in a relationship with somebody not even your spouse your family you speak to them sometimes you don't feel like speaking to them but you have to speak to them because if you don't speak to them that you're not in a relationship with them so in the same vein consistency is so important and it's not in the length it's it's in the quality and in the frequency that is why consistency is so important and the last point is intercession intercession is important because sometimes the reason why you don't feel like praying is you don't see a need to pray and then you need to understand that above having a relationship with God through prayer. Prayer is also an avenue where you communicate on the needs of others to God. So maybe you are out of needs, but there are lots of people around you who have needs. And you may say, I don't have anybody in my family that has needs. Everybody around me is okay. There are lots of people out there who need to hear the gospel. And while you may not be able to preach the gospel to them, guess what? You can pray for them to come into the fold of God. So that's where prayer and intercessory prayer comes in. So if you don't feel like praying, perhaps you don't have any need at the moment or you don't know anybody who has a need at the moment that is the time to intercede for the souls of men that is the time to intercede for your city that's the time for you to intercede for your community that the light of the gospel will pierce through the hearts of the people who are in that city who are yet to know the lord and many and many many more will come to know the lord with this few points of mine i've been able to help you see that you don't necessarily need to always feel like praying i don't think there's anybody out there that always feels like praying you're not alone and i believe that with this few points if you're able to put them into practice god is going to lift that mood off of you and your prayer life is going to be because the devil is a roaring lion he's going about seeking whom he may devour so be sober be vigilant and stay prayed up stay watchful i'll see you in the next one like this video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't bye for now